Good morning and welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus. I pray you had a great weekend. When I think about the word purging, uh, I think about uh, sometimes when we use computers and things like that, they they kind of begin sometimes to lose their effectiveness simply because of the things that are kind of building up on those computers and slowing it down. And so from time to time, I really think it is important for us to just step aside from, from things and just spend time with the Lord. And as we do that, sometimes uh, that uh, that can be a fearful process. It can be a painful process. It can be a process that takes us through the fire and, and brings us out on the other side even better. But in all of that, we can also find tremendous peace, comfort, and joy. But the one thing that we find always is God's unconditional love through all of the highs and lows of life, through all of the demonic forces that try to come against us. There is no power like the power of God's love in our lives. And if we, have, if we can learn anything in our lives, and if I've learned anything over the last couple of weeks, it's that the love of God endures and perseveres through anything that we may go through in life or anything that we may have in our lives that, that tries to interrupt that. God is more powerful than anything that we could ever hope to have or accomplish in our lives. So the Lord took me this morning to Romans eight thirty eight and 39 to just remind all of us that the Lord has a firm grip on you, on your life, on everything that is going on in your life. The Lord has His hand upon you and I. Romans eight thirty eight and 39 says this, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers nor things present nor things to come, nor heights, nor depths, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Uh, God, we, we just want to thank you this morning for your unconditional love. For you allowed us, have allowed us in our lives to not only see the force of the enemy and our inability to stop him on our own, but you have also showed us the freedom of sharing our hurts with someone. You've also shown us the influence that our lives can have on other people. And that can be humbling, but it can also be very, very special. So, Father, this morning we come before you and say we are ready, Lord. We are ready to press on through this vision in which you have given us in our lives as believers and as a body. We ask you to show us great and mighty things that you have for us that you have for the ministry, but also that you have for all of the people that are around us. We ask you, Lord, this morning to just accept our praise, and we raise a hallelujah to you this morning to let us, to let you know, Father, that we acknowledge the fact that no matter what comes against your people, your love always perseveres. And we thank you for that this morning, Lord. So as you go about your day today, I want you to hold on to one special truth that the Lord has given me this past week. Purging brings peace, and peace brings power. I want you to say that this morning. Purging brings peace, and peace brings power. So today I want you to walk in victory. I want you to walk in freedom. I want you to walk in deliverance. I want you to walk and live your life knowing that no matter what comes against you, it cannot penetrate the love that God has for you. Today I ask you to be safe, be strong, and be blessed. And be that people that say, Bring on the purging, Lord, for I know it's going to eventually and ultimately bring peace into my life. And with that peace will come your great power. You have a great day. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Amen.